Uh, a lot of people ask me uh, my workaround uh, to have uh, a web form of the audio in Photoshop when I, I did uh, my lip sync uh, stuff. So here you can see the played uh, writing uh, there in my canvas. So it's a workaround. Uh, like, I, uh, like I do right now, I use a screen record uh, software. So on Mac, personally, I use ScreenFlow. Uh, ScreenFro is uh, this uh, nice piece of software, so you can find that here. It's a Telestream uh, software, but you have on Windows uh, Camtasia, and you have a lot of uh, screen record tool. You could also use QuickTime on Mac. Uh, for example, here I use QuickTime to, uh, to record uh, my audio, so to have my dialogue, so you need to have your dialogue somewhere. Uh, so, but that could be audition, that could be what you want. So you can also uh, record your screen from QuickTime and so you have a lot of way to do that. So here I have my stupid dialogue. I would like to, to have this, the web form of this stupid dialogue in Photoshop. So that's the purpose. So personally, I have Creative Cloud, uh, so I also have uh, Adobe Audition CC. So just uh, just import on it my stupid dialogue, and now I have a, a web form. So depend of a of a duration of your dialogue, perhaps you need to to zoom inside your web form. So let's pretend uh, I need this level of zoom, and I will record with a screen flow, uh, for example there. I will record uh, only the audio of my computer. So you have op different options. So here, uh, right now, I'm using the, uh, the my microphone uh, input, but I could also have the uh, the audio from my computer. So uh, from the the playhead there, if I play this video. So just recording. So you just press spacebar and you record that. So personally, I hear the, the sound. Uh, so if the record is properly set up, you have that. And you stop your record. So that's it. I will stop and I will come back in a, in a minute to show you something. Uh, now in ScreenFlow, I will record ScreenFlow with ScreenFlow uh, there. So if you start the recording with ScreenFlow or again another software, you will have something like that. So ScreenFlow allow me to edit also. So I can I can play and you can see I have a screen record of what I did just previously. So that's how I did. Some screen record tool allow you to screen record only a piece of the software. So in this case, uh, probably I will just uh, drag and drop the selection of my screencast on that. If not, like like right now, you can use your uh, screen record software or a, a video editing software to say, okay, I just want to export this section. So the section where my plan will cross uh, the, the stuff, that that's could be this one. Perhaps you want the information of, the, of uh, the DB or not, so let's pretend I want. And that's it, I can say apply. And now I just have to render this piece. So let's say uh, file uh, and uh, render it's, uh, sorry, I, I know the shortcut, export. So I can export that. So I will do that at 100%. Uh, and let's say export let's say two, because I already did one test. And that's it. That's record for you this piece of sound. Now let's come back in Photoshop. I will delete my waveform there. And you have two ways to import. You can import directly, uh, you know, a, a video layer from, uh, a, um, uh, you know, a video sources. So my MP, uh, MP4 there. Or because I know I will have to reduce the size, uh, I can directly in, in place uh, this video file 
using uh, place linked if I want to have an external link or embed. Uh, so, but let me, so that, that will be easier because uh, in this case that will do the two step I will do by myself right now. So if you do a layer, a video layer and you say video, new video layer from file, you, you have the ability to point on your MP4. So really cut it. And because it's too large from what I need, I will say transform. So edit free transform. And because of that, uh, Photoshop proposed, uh, to convert that in smart objects. That's the only way you can reduce the size of video of a video without, uh, flattening your video in one single picture. So, and for that reason, I had to, to, um, I had to create a smart object. So uh, the function file place is easier. I just have one state to do. And now, uh, sorry, I just import this one, uh, not at the right place. I need to import that starting at the first point. I can import the same as uh, the, the audio file there with the audio track. So the right one. And the right one is this one, so it's okay. So now I have both. I can mute the volume of one or the other, okay? And just to make sure, I will synchronize my sound with the, the waveform. So it's not necessary. Uh, probably the, the position of the sound will be adjusted in, uh, you know, a compositing software, but here, how it's uh, it's happened. So if you need, you can also double click to open the, your, the content of your smart object. You can disable the sound, or uh, if you don't want this sound and have a proper sound. So it's just uh, a way to to keep in mind uh, what's happened and where the the you know the phonemes happen. So here you are. This is how I achieve this workaround. And the played move because the video move at the same uh, at the same speed than the audio. So that's it. I hope that uh, that will be helpful to better understand my work around. Uh, and let me know if it's not clear. I will add some comment in the the comment section.